What's up YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new episode of SM Reacts. I am your host Smarty and you can find me on all social media platforms at Smarty237. Here on SM Reacts, we dive into the happenings in the Cameroonian entertainment industry. So if this is your first time joining us, please do well to click on the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell so you get notified each time we post new content. There's so much to discuss in this episode, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No one. No one. Nada, but. Can we just give Stephanie Tom star of the month of April? Like, I don't, I don't too much like stress in my life. Like, sis tore the month of April apart. Did you see the look Stephanie Tom served during Kamif? Like, I could not continue or do anything this episode without talking about those looks. Stephanie Tom came to slay. She worked with Cameroonian designers like Shasha and Limati for those four outfits that you can see. And, uh, woof. Stephanie also does something that a lot of artists, people who are in the work of arts, musicians, actors, etc., etc., celebrities, whatever, should learn from. She always puts out professional images. Like if she has a show, an event, or whatever, she makes sure there's a photographer who takes pictures of her that she uploads on social media. That is amazing. The professionalism is top notch. A big shout out to Stephanie Tom, who was looking great, as you can see in this last image. And that takes us to the next topic. Cameroonian actress Sang Zilong said yes in Yaoundé on the 29th of April 2021. And that is where Stephanie Tum took that picture in that beautiful, beautiful gown. Uh, if you don't know who Sang Zilong is, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing with your life, honestly. So go and find out. I'm not going to do that work for you. Go and find out. So the wedding was jam-packed with other Cameroonian celebrities. We had Kanzilori Stanley Song. We had uh, Chichi Ladislav. We had Manitabo Rachel, who is a designer. We had a host of other Cameroonian entertainment stakeholders. You know, um, I want to take this opportunity to wish lots and lots of happiness to Sang Zilong and her husband as they enjoy holy matrimony. Now, I want to talk about the music videos that caught my attention this past week. I'll be starting off with Adele Clary's recent video entitled Jealous. Uh, it was released on YouTube last week and uh, she came through with the looks, with the outfits, with the charisma, with the attitude. It's a beautiful song and a lovely video. Do well to check it out. I also want to briefly talk about the Eyango sisters who happen to be the daughters of the legendary Makosa icon Prince Ndedi Eyango. These girls have been on the come up uh, and they just released their third music video entitled Mula. There's been a lot of growth and improvements from both girls but I just want to talk about Kamala. Kamala Eyango was out here just serving us a lot of servitude. Oof. And uh, if you're into reaction videos, check out my friend LaRouche Reacts, who did a reaction video of the song Mula on her channel. And do well to subscribe. She also does amazing, amazing content here on YouTube. I want to give a big shout out to the Yango sisters for consistently, you know, raising the bar with every song and music video that they put out there. But I feel like there's something lacking, you know. They have the potential to be amongst the top female artists in Cameroon, but I don't know. They are not working with the right songwriters, in my opinion. They are beautiful, they are sexy, they are talented, they have the charisma, they have the attitude. But then when you take a look at the lyrical content of their songs, it's like, yeah, they're amazing. They should just stick to what they know how to do. And honestly, there's a lot of potential there, if you ask me. Have you guys not noticed my new hairdo? I've sent my hair behind because a lot of people are copying my hairstyle in these streets and they're not even giving me credits. Stanley, you know, just recently <laughs> changed his hairdo to dreadlocks, so I sent my hair behind because it looks very similar to my hairstyle. <laughs> Shout out to Stanley, you know, as he killed his performance in Abidjan, where he currently is, 
at the Voice Afrique Francophone Season 3 competition, which is ongoing in Abidjan. And Charlotte Zipanda is one of the judges alongside Yusufa and a host of others. A lot of people were so proud of Stanley Eno for his performance, including myself. But there were some other people who were like, why would he take a song like Hempe and make it slow? And I'm like, I cannot curse on YouTube, but get the dude out of here. Exactly. Thanks. I'll briefly congratulate Cindy Amade as she becomes the brand ambassador for Tech No. And also Kang Queen Tools, whom I have been talking about on SM React until I'm tired because the boy keeps killing it. Also backed a brand ambassador deal with Orange. I am guessing it has something to do with education for the girl child because that's what the movie Fisherman's Diary is about. And the Fisherman's Diary continues to win awards partout. Can Queen choose the same thing, Fifth Fidel, the same thing. I am so proud of the work that these people will have accomplished. And uh, please, you people should not let us down. Because we know you people in Cameroon. You do something good like that and then just disappear. You just disappear. When they ask you why you have disappeared, you see that you don't have a take care for the life. You don't take care past Elizabeth Take care. <laughs> Talking about Elizabeth Take care, she just put out her new album after over five six seven almost nine years of not putting out new music and i just want to commend her management and those who are handling her pr and community management on social media for doing an amazing job like woof, you guys have rebranded and brought mama back her tech care has started paying off hey so far for the life i cannot wait to listen to the album and i encourage you to do the same it is available on streaming platforms i will drop the link in the description box below as well as a link of all the music videos i have touched in this episode in the description box below so do well to check them out Silla is in trouble and this time it's not because of me so you people should spare me spare me spare me this thing happened some months ago but i decided not to talk about it because ugh, i'm giving a lot of clout on this channel you know, free clouds that she cannot even pay for. Bref, well, what had happened was she said some really crazy stuff about Jovi that I don't want to get into. And this lady, Nora Brown, who is part of the Mboko gang, called her out for her attitude and all of that stuff. And uh, in the process of clapping back, Tila mistakenly mentioned her for being a sickle cell patient in a condescending manner. They insulted her. We thought that it has passed. Ha! Yesterday, 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 like that. <laughs> I was scrolling on Facebook and I stumbled on a cover art of a song entitled Something Something Walk Something. I can't even remember. So I clicked on the link and baby! This lady is not an artist, but she was out here throwing yeah, back. Uh -uh. oh, wow. But then, but you know I mean, I mean, Tila is not my favorite person, but if you want to come at Tila, you need to come a little bit harder. But the song was cool and all that. I really liked the song, but it was not hard enough. And I, I don't know if Tila is going to respond because she's not an artist. I mean, Nora Brown in question is not an artist. I'm not sure Tila is going to respond. But if she does, let Nora Brown not complain, no, because. As she hit below the belt, Silla has no chill. She will just carry you and throw the belt on top of you. Yes. Happy new month. I don't know why I did not start the episode by saying that. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, my condolences to Askia as she lost her father. I don't know. Like, I don't know. People are, people are going. I mean, week before last was Tizi Panchak's dad. Last week was Askia's dad. My condolences to ask her and her family and lots of love and prayers from this end. Take good care of yourself, ask her. This year has been a tough year for you and uh, I honestly wish you all the very best. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for your continuous support and that is all I had for you on this episode of SM Reacts. If you haven't done so already and I don't know why you wouldn't have done so by now. So if you haven't done so already, click on the notification bell below after you've clicked on the subscribe button leave a like and drop a comment tell us what you think god bless you thank you guys so much and see you on the next episode bye